Hey everybody, Ooh, I'm on this little mini skateboard and I thought I could make a cool rolling intro. Said it just sounded like I rolled in and farted. It is Vlogoween day 14 and I cannot believe we are almost halfway done with the magical month of October already. Before we get into the magical content behind us in all of these boxes, you can't even see them all in frame right now, that's how many boxes we're gonna be opening today. I wanted to just take a moment and check in and say a huge incredible thank you to the Swamp Fam for keeping up with me all Vlogoween, for leaving such encouraging and awesome comments down below. There have definitely been some days when I've been really weary and tired, but it's you guys love and encouragement that's been pushing me through. And so I just want to say thank you guys so, so, so much for all the support this month. I've been having a blast. I hope you guys have been enjoying it as well. So I just want to say thank you guys. As always, we keep it Swamp Family Strong and Swamp Family Sassy, and you guys always keep me going. So thank you so much for being here and for being you. Today's video I've only made one time before, which was last year's Vlogoween. That is to do a haul video of all of the new treats and treasures, some of the new items that I'm going to be giving away to trick-or-treaters this Halloween. And I maybe went a little crazy. You guys, Look at the number of boxes. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six boxes to one box. You guys know Halloween is my absolute favorite day of the year, most magical day. If I could live in Halloween town, I would take the next bus and I would never come back. Now that I'm not out trick-or-treating, because that would be strange, but I would if I could. Actually, I don't think I would. I think I enjoy handing out stuff more even than I enjoy trick-or-treating because I like planning things like parties and festivities and stuff like that. I get to flex my, flex is not a good word to use for anything anymore, but I get to flex my creative muscle. Every year I always try and outdo myself the year before. I always have these houses and neighbors and particular trick-or-treat experiences that still stick out into my brain my whole life and I now want to turn around and spread that magic and keep the magical Halloween spirit alive for these days, children. Uh, I want to be remembered by somebody out there as the cool house. Definitely there are kids that look forward to trick-or-treating at our house every single year. Um, if you guys don't know, I also set up like a cotton candy machine. So I'm making cotton candy. I hand out little mini sodas. I might do popcorn. I've always wanted to do snow cones, but I don't, I don't know. This year I ordered a tent. You know what? We'll make a whole video on the tent. I shouldn't even be talking about setup. Anyway, let's just crack open these boxes. <laughs> This year, I decided I want to give away not just bags, no, 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 uh, but treat buckets to every kid that comes trick-or-treating to my house. Uh, Halloween is on a Wednesday this year. Normally, we get over a hundred trick-or-treaters every single year. So will we get more this year? Will we get less? I hope never less, always more. All right, and speak of the devil, right here on top, I've got one big stack of treat pails. I've already been buying some at like Target and Walmart and stuff like that, but I found out that I could get these at Oriental Trading for less than a dollar. So I snagged um, a couple of these listings as well. All this stuff is from Oriental Trading, by the way. I feel a little unfocused today, but we're gonna keep it rolling. I'm gonna be honest, it is five in the morning. I'm a little tired. I bet that this is the exact same thing because it's in an identical box. We have another bucket, bucket? We have another box of buckets. In this other small box, I ordered one personalized product this year. And I'm kind of hoping that that's what this is. Yay! Okay, I am beyond stupidly excited for this. I noticed that there was an option to do custom Halloween pencils. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Okay, I should have put Graveyard Girls. Didn't really think about that. Anyway, um, they are these little pumpkin pencils, orange, and then I made them say Graveyard Girl Halloween 2018. I don't care if there's a spelling error. 
I definitely ordered them that way. See, that's why you shouldn't go online shopping at 4 a.m. Because then you're going to forget to put things that are very important grammatically, like apostrophe S. My Halloween setup plans this year are so massive that they probably deserve their own vlogoween video. And I've actually never fully, I don't think, shown you guys the setup. So you guys will definitely see this again, but it's a beanbag game. So you try and like land beanbags through the eyes and through the mouth. Tons of fun and excitement are in this box. My big long order form, another catalog where they can tempt me to order even more items. Squishy heads. Doesn't that sound amazing? I always try and give the kids like whatever is trending that year. Like last year, I gave away a lot of fidget spinners. Nobody cares about fidget spinners anymore. I think slime and squishy is still kind of popular. I mean, I, I still love squishies. A bunch of different designs. This one is a skull. I'm trying to get the juice. There's like juice and like maggoty bugs. I'm just over here just squeezing it, enjoying it myself. Ew! Okay, can you guys see? There's like little critters that live in there. He's almost like an alien and almost like a random like ghoul kind of guy. And then we have like maybe most horrifying of all is this witch with a funny chin. I ordered these last year. We have them again this year. You guys know I always have to do a little throwback to sweet, sweet 90s memories. I got these little adjustable friendship bracelet bracelets. So you get orange and you get black. I love these things. Up next, I believe that this was a completely new item for this year. And I was very excited about it. I always give out Mardi Gras beads, but these were particularly cool to me because the beads actually spell out Halloween. Jack-o-lanterns and spiders, and then they spell out Halloween. Ta-da! Halloween! Up next, is a bunch of Halloween stick pens. That was kind of my favorite thing to always get was like the stationary kind of stuff that was like pens, pencils, little notepads. Let me see if I can grab one of each design. Have a spooktacular night. Then we got this one with bats, this one with jack-o-lanterns, this one says trick or treat. And we have this one which is like happy Halloween and then a black and orange gradient. And then we have that one which is orange spiders on a purple pin. Slime! You can get green, blue, yellow, or pink. I wanna test it out, but I also just wanna save all of them for the trick-or-treaters, because I think we only got, yeah, we only got 12 in here. And I can already tell what kind of slime it is, and I love this type, because it's the really thin stuff that you can like suck up into, like they make like little squeezy toys that can like suck up the slime and they'll spit it back out. Do you know what I'm talking about? This stuff feels really relaxing and it also like drips really easily, but in my experience, it doesn't make a big mess. It's kind of like the perfect type of slime in my mind. Next is another treat that I feel like I'm rebuying every single year. And that is these little pencil toppers. They are so cute. And they have a bunch of different designs. This is hilarious. Supposed to look like a witch, right? And then it just has a random happy face on the front. I generally always like to put these on the tops of the pencils as I put them in the treat bags. These are so cool as well. I got these for the first time ever. Light up fang mouthpiece. Maybe we'll open one when I make up the actual treat bags. I feel like today I'm just kind of showing you guys everything, but I feel like I had to get these because they remind me of Astro World in the 90s. They always sold these there and they were so expensive. So I never have had any in my life. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get them and I'm gonna give them away. Up next, I thought that these were so, so cute. And I always like to give away at least one type of stuffed animal every year because like if I would have gotten this when I was a kid, I would have just died. Look at these little guys. They are really soft and felty. So we have pink, blue, and then I think we have green. And they are 
absolutely adorable but unfortunately you don't get many i think you only get 12 yeah a dozen Ooh. oh no okay i thought that these were gonna be like actual cotton tote bags you know what i mean these are still pretty cool and another treat bag option as well as buckets because they are enormous i can put a ton of stuff in them but i thought that they were gonna definitely be like higher quality they're kind of like that fabric you know that can get pulled apart kind of easy they're still really cute and they are pretty big um so we got red and blue eyes up next we have a pile of sticky skulls they look really cool they've actually got quite a bit of detail to them and i really like the glitter in them as well I'm giving you guys a full-on review of sticky hands these things are so much fun i feel like every kid in the world loves sticky hands i got these skeleton easter eggs so i thought it would be fun to just include these inside some treat bags like some of them i like to put a dollar or five dollars in um or just like a little special toy or a piece of candy i thought kids would really like that so that it's kind of like a little mystery surprise in their baskets there are 72 in here but i thought that they were so cute and i thought that they would look so awesome like nestled inside of the jack-o-lantern buckets next we have stampers they have all of these different designs and online they all look so cute really cute little stamp i'm very excited for these oh these are uh bubble bottles let's take a look they have jack-o-lanterns on them oh my gosh they're tiny i thought that that was another really cute thing about these is the little bubble wand like hangs on the side kind of like a keychain feel like every kid in the world loves bubbles or at least it appears that way every time i'm at disney world they always have those like bubble wands and there's bubbles everywhere you want a hundred dollar wine voucher i've never seen that in my life i don't know what this is oh wait okay i take it back i think i know what this is they were such a freaking hit last year um i had made up a lot of these well let me take them out of the box first and then i'll tell you guys the story about them yes okay oh my god the kids loved these last year and i was like i've got to do them again this year so they are these little skull sippers we gave kids like the choice last year if they wanted like a big old bag full of candy or a bucket because i did do some buckets last year so the choice was like a bucket a bag or a skull like filled with stuff and a ton of kids well not a ton there's only like 20 that come in here but like for as long as we had these like every kid was picking a skull it was crazy because they're so much tinier but like i don't know i figured i'd just make buckets and like put some skulls in there this year so like they just get everything and they don't have to choose i just love spoiling people so i'm like eh, whatever i feel like crafting and like diy is like a really popular thing so i thought that they would love to get these they're actually these cute little bead kits and they say i think they say happy halloween yeah and then it comes with this little ghost card and it's like orange is for the color of harvest black is for cauldron and cats purple is for witches and monsters green is for gooey slime and goblins and yellow is for the stars that shine down on pumpkins with glee to make halloween night fun and carefree so it comes with like this little poem for all the different meanings of the different colors of beads and i thought that that was really cute and then i also so got this kit as well which is a bit more complicated is macrame the word that i'm looking for you basically make those like beaded animal type things i'll cut this one open because i kind of wanted to make one myself or at least see if i could make one that's what you end up with is that little guy can't wait to see how annoying the sound is kind of just like to give kids like clickers and clackers and noisemakers on halloween so that's what these guys are are noise making monsters oh oh they're just like little almost like little dog toys right <laughs> they have pretty fun faces almost done 
with this box. This is another repurchase from last year. I was so happy to see that they still had these because I hope the kids liked these last year, but I loved them so much. I wanted to do them again. I think this is just such a really cool thing to give away. Um, they are bandanas which I feel like would be so cool to like wear to school the next day or something if you got one of these. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm just like just imagining these children showing up to school the next day with glee. I'm just trying to make it magical. I'm trying to give away things that like if I was a kid I would like. Anyway up next are these guys which I promise I will have one inflated next time i see you inflatable broomsticks and it reminded me i had so much fun one of the disney parties i went to this year i dressed up as kiki from kiki's delivery service and that's what this reminded me of i have never given away like little inflatable things before and I thought that this would once again be so much fun. And like, honestly, it reminded me of a combination be between Kiki's Delivery Service and Sailor Moon. I think these do glow in the dark. Um, and then we have these purple ones. More noisemakers. And these are awesome. They are way bigger than I thought that they would be, which is crazy because some of this stuff I ordered and I thought it was going to be bigger and it's smaller. And then like some things like this, I thought were going to be really small and they're a lot bigger. Uh, so these are glow in the dark skeleton hand clappers. Can this be a challenge on YouTube? Like how many clicky clackers can you get working at once? It's really hot in here with these lights. I'm just fanning myself with skeleton hands. A couple more things in here. Oh my gosh, I was like looking at this. I was like, what? What is this? What did I order? They are finger flinging rockets. <laughs> so they're these little foam rockets and they've got like, you know, basically a rubber band on the end and you Nope. Oh look, I didn't, there we, oh. I always get these every year. Well, something like these. And they are the good old fashioned little spooky paratroopers. So these are the little parachute guys. I don't know if kids still like these, but I still like these. Like I even seek out every year, they make fireworks with these little parachute guys inside. And when you set off the firework, the parachute guy comes out. And I don't know why that's just so magical to me, but I love it. Oh, Frankenstein, there we go. You also could get a Frankenstein. Here is the next box and you guys, this one must have even more items than the first box because this box is like, Stuff. Oh my god, the thing I'm seeing right on the top is so adorable. I don't know why they're like on their stomachs or why that's so hilarious to me, but there's a bunch of different designs and they're just these cute little plushy guys. So we have ghosts, we have Frankensteins. He looks so funny, oh my god. We have vampires, she's got a little wart on her nose. Does anybody know like Halloween history and like why witches are always depicted with warts? Like does that have some kind of meaning? Because I'm like dang I don't feel like all witches have warts. I think these are going to be kind of tiny. Let's open one up and see. I thought that these were definitely going to be bigger and I thought that they could be some kind of like other option. Like I am kind of torn. Like part of me just wants to like put these inside of the pumpkins, inside of the skulls and like just give the kids absolutely everything. But then like part of me wonders if like some kids don't like the option to like make a choice between different containers and like whichever treat bag they want. That is what the finished product looks like. Boys and ghouls only. Wait, does it say like, no, oh yeah, grown ups not allowed. <laughs> Up next is something that you guys will definitely see in the big treat bag video. I'm gonna wait to set it up until then, but if you guys watch those videos, then you'll know I always get this little like treasure chest toy assortment. So you like set this up and then you put all of the toys inside and there's just a ton of different things. There's like bat noisemakers. I see little tops, finger 
I almost said fingerprints. Um, finger puppets, rubber duckies, Halloween footballs. Oh my gosh. Okay, more favor boxes. And I don't know how many years Oriental Trading is going to sell these designs, but they're part of like a spookadelic. I think it's supposed to be like a play on like psychedelic and spooky. These would honestly be awesome to put popcorn in, right? They're kind of like little popcorn. I just, anybody else see that? Um, so a couple of different designs. We've got these awesome cats, um, skulls, oh, eyeballs, and jack-o'-lanterns. These are like the skull head zippers, but they are jack-o'-lanterns instead. I thought they were so cute. And I thought I could just like fill them with candy or whatever. All right, up next is squishies. They promised me slow rising. We shall see. Oh my gosh. Dude, they're not kidding. These are so slow rising. Black cats, more gray cats, but you get the idea. And oh my God, look at the little boo. I'm gonna cut this open. I wanna keep one of these. I'm really glad that these are like high quality because they were definitely like some of the pricier treats and you only get a dozen of them. And so I was really hoping when they were saying slow rising that they were actually going to be quality squishies. And I, as a squishy connoisseur, can confirm they feel really great. I got a couple of rolls of stickers. I think these are fun to just like tear off and give like five or so stickers per treat bag. They are glow in the dark. There's once again just something really pleasant and retro in my mind about a roll of stickers. I don't know. I got these because I thought they were so cute and they are Halloween emojis. So it looks like we have a jack-o'-lantern, a ghost, a Frankenstein, a werewolf, a Frankenstein's monster. I'm sorry. Everybody calls this Frankenstein. I, an English major, call it Frankenstein. And I am like a, a specialist of the romantics. So there's all those little cuties. Up next, I feel like once again, these are like from a bygone era. I feel like they had these when I was a kid and I always loved them. There are some cats down here and there are also Dracula. There is also Dracula, um, ghosts, and witches, it looks like. Up next is another one of my cherished Halloween items. Um, something I always love. I'm always, I'm still always buying them in stores, but I thought that these were really cool and I've never seen them before. They are neon bendy skulls, neon bendy skeletons. I don't feel like I've ever seen the neon ones before. You always just see um, the white ones. Pink, yellow, teal, and neon green. A lot of fun. And I thought they would also go with a lot of the other stuff that I'm giving away that's kind of like these more like psychedelic type designs. Something else I've never given away. I, I do feel like a lot of this stuff is just like memories from my childhood and like stuff that kids liked when I was a kid. And that are, huh, you guys, I need sleep. That is these fortune telling fish. Wait, did I order these last year? Why is this experience so familiar to me now? So you place it in your hand and then it starts to move. <laughs> And that's supposed to tell you something about yourself. If it's curling up entirely, that means passionate. Is that what that means? Is that curled up entirely or just curling sides? I don't feel like fickle is a very good character trait. Um, moving head means jealousy. Moving tail means indifference. Moving head and tail means in love. Um, curling sides, fickle, turns over, false. Um, motionless means you're just dead. So you definitely don't want that. Um, and then if it curls up entirely, that means passionate. But I love these little guys. Up next, ew. Oh my God, I don't want to know. This is like covered with ooze. Like all of them in here are like kind of wet and a little bit like strange. It honestly feels like if a whole vat of sticky hands got spilled on those, like I'm kind of not down. They're so cute and they have these like crazy eye expressions, but it's like really bizarre how 
all of them just feel like kind of wet and sticky. Let's focus on these adorable candy corn bracelets. I almost said corn candy because that's how sleep deprived I am. These are like really high quality. They are glass candy corn beads. Those are really awesome. Okay. I feel like this is like a family heirloom. Oh my gosh, okay, I thought that these would be so cool. You guys know glow sticks is always a staple of my uh, giveaway bags every year, but I've never seen these before and they are so crazy. I just had to get at least one bag. So they are candle glow sticks. They're these big chunky guys and then they look like a little candle on the end but I thought that, that was just like so much cooler and more spooky. Do you guys do the glow stick life hack where you can like keep them for days if you put them in your freezer? I remember anytime I got a glow stick I would always like crack it open on Halloween night but then I would always like keep it in the fridge so I could take it to school the next day. I'm just like not learning at school, just taking glow sticks and candy and all kinds of funny stuff. All right, I got a different variety of pin because once again, I loved these when I was a kid. I thought that they were just the coolest. So they are pins, but on um, necklaces. So you can wear them and then write with them. You know, the only two things that you can do with a pen. Uh, and they have two different designs, jack-o'-lanterns, and then these super cute little black cats wearing hats. Like an off-brand cat in the hat. Oh my gosh, see, once again, these are so tiny, but I thought kids would love these. And every year, without a doubt, we have so many kids that show up as like Darth Vader or Jedi's. Wait, do these not come with batteries? Batteries not included? I should have known better. Um, but that is what these are. I thought that these, like kids would love to battle with these, right? I would love to battle with these. Who am I kidding? They also kind of look like rainbow pops. Do you know what I mean? But these look so fun. Oh my God, I'm so glad. I was kind of on the fence about getting these. But I'm so glad that I did. Next, we have jumping spiders. And I used to love to race with these things. We have a couple different colorways. And I'm sure all you guys know what these are. You just like push. There's like a little tab on the back. And when you push it down, you can like make them jump. Up next are candy corn eggs. These are just like the skull ones that I showed you earlier, except for they're candy corns. Sweet little candy corns that I can put special treats and surprises inside. Oh my gosh, these are cool. See, and these are bigger than I thought that they would be. Um, I love these. They're very retro feeling to me. So they are the crazy eye glasses. Woo, freak out your friends, but still see everything clearly. The best of both worlds. I love these. Okay, up next, oh, thank goodness. I'm glad that these are full sized because I was worried that they were gonna be miniature and then I was gonna be, okay, they're kind of thin. But they're still cool. Like kids love frisbees, right? So these are glow in the dark frisbees. Woo! Oh my gosh. Okay. I think those are pretty awesome. Oh, okay. These are so cool. So these are keychains that flash. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna put this one on the Jeep keys because that is just so cute. Oh my gosh, these are awesome. So cute. More glow-in-the-dark products. I feel like I've definitely gotten these a couple of times before because you guys know I love all skulls and skeletons. So these are glow-in-the-dark skeleton arm pens. I feel like I definitely had these last year, but you know what? Um, maybe they were like translucent neon colors. Do you guys remember? Did I have glow-in-the-dark ones last year? I know that I gave away flashlights last year, but I think that they were smaller. Oh my gosh, you guys. When I ordered the little flashlights last year, they came with batteries like they worked already. These unfortunately do not. So more batteries are gonna be required, um, but these are so cute. So they are little jack-o'-lantern flashlights and they're once again on necklaces. I don't wanna unwrap these because I don't want them to like get damaged before I give them away. But I thought once again that these would be like kind of a fun craft. 
So they are like these chalkboard skeletons. You can turn them into ornaments, but they're like those scratch, like you can etch a design into them and like draw, create your own skeleton, whatever you wanna do. I don't know. I thought kids would like have fun expressing themselves and coloring and drawing and designing their very own skeleton. More haunted house little treat containers. And I thought that these were gonna be pretty small. So I thought that these would just be cute to put inside um, the treat buckets. They are so cute. I love all the little ghosts flying around and sticking out of the window. So cute. This is just my favorite time of year. Low in the dark tattoos. And I just feel like temporary tattoos are fun. Everybody loves temporary tattoos real tattoos and i just thought that they were cool that they gl glue glow glowed they will glow in the dark we've got bats and scarecrows or is that a pumpkin i don't know somebody wearing a hat it's a cat and on the back we've got spiders and a ghost with a pumpkin and another different type of ghost with a pumpkin. I was like, wait, this is just a box of straws. I've never given away pinwheels before, but I thought that these were so cute. I feel like you used to always see pinwheels like at the grocery store checkouts and now you don't see them anymore. What's up with that? Oh my gosh. Okay, see, once again, bigger than expected, but I've never given these away before and they just looked so awesome. I think they light up too. Yeah, they do light up. Um, so these are like those little puffer balls, which really relaxing, by the way. They don't look like they're relaxing because their faces are like blah, 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 but I'm relaxing, squeezing them. Ooh, listen to that. It's like demented ASMR. That's why I shouldn't be an ASMR channel. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay. It's slime, but a different type of slime. Um, and this is the world's tiniest slime. It's like a finger of slime, a suggestion of slime. It is pumpkin guts. And I just thought that that was like too cute to pass up. So we have pumpkin guts teeny tiny mini slime. You need like 10 of those just to make one slime. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is going to be another thing for like the setup. So we won't focus on this too much today, but I will show you guys what it is. Look at the little bean bags. This is so cute. So this is like another bean bag game, but I love the, like, I still love the game at, um, like Dave and Buster's where you like shoot the clowns do you know what i'm saying it's almost like the same things as like ski ball but they're in these little launchers and you knock the clown faces down um so that's the same here except for it's skulls i cannot wait to show you guys like what the setup is gonna be i also like that that's called skull crusher that just sounds like a cool nickname that i wish i had i wish everyone called me skull crusher there we go Boys and ghouls, no long outro because the battery's flashing and this has maybe been one of my longest videos on this channel ever, but happy almost halfway Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little sneak peek, a little preview of some of the stuff I will be giving away to trick-or-treaters this year. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. I love you guys so, so much and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!